Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning, and that means it's grocery haul day. But today we're doing things a little bit different. Normally, I do my grocery shopping on Saturday, but I had to work all day on Saturday, so I could not get to it. So here we are. It is Sunday, and I really need to get to the grocery store. Can you guys hear that? I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that is rolling thunder. Kind of see back here, the palm trees are moving around a little bit, but we're getting ready to have a big storm. So we're still, but that is not going to deter us because, you know, we still have to eat, right? And we're really low on food. Since I didn't do a grocery haul last week, now I'm down to like I need everything. So we're gonna do things a little bit differently. We're gonna head to the grocery store this morning and you guys are gonna come with me. Kevin and I are going this morning. So I'm gonna try to film my entire grocery haul in the grocery store. We're gonna go to Publix because I need kind of pretty much almost everything. I have a decent amount of things left, but I need a lot of the things that I eat every single week. But I also, oh, look at that. Can you guys see? It's gonna be fun. Anyway, I wanted to go over with you. If you recall, in my last Sunday grocery haul, I let you guys know that I am 100% done with Built Bar and their shenanigans. So what I've been doing for now the last two weeks is trying out some new protein bars. So I wanted to give you an update on what I thought of those. Now. The birthday cake quest bars, many of you may have already had four smart points on these. These are empty boxes, so they're good. I really like this one. I've always liked this one, so no news there, but it does have sprinkles. It has the white chocolate on the outside. To me, it's not cakey at all. Like, maybe cakey's not the right word. Chalky, you know how sometimes they can be gritty? I don't feel like it tastes that way to me. But of course, I'm putting it on the curve of a protein bar, not on the curve of a candy bar. That wouldn't be fair. But it doesn't have, also, it doesn't have that taffy-like texture that a Built Bar has. It just has a protein bar texture. And that's going to be the case with all three of these. So the next one is, this is made by one blueberry cobbler. This one is higher in points. Yeah, six points on this one. But let me tell you what, it's good. Really, really good. 230 calories. It was 180 calories on the birthday cake. Yeah, 180 calories. So definitely not meal replacement, you guys. I use these as almost like a snack. To me, 200 calories and below is totally fine for a snack as far as calories go. I can usually work it into my points. So, oh, do you hear that? I hope that's coming through. Rolling thunder. Did your mom or dad or anybody, whoever you grew up with, tell you that it was the angels bowling? I always think of that when I hear the rolling thunder. Anyway, blueberry cobbler, white chocolate on the outside, really, really, really good. They're thin. Um, Texture is good, just sweet enough. Really like these. So let me just tell you. Three, two, my number one, my new number one is this Quest Chocolate Sprinkled Donut. Five points on this one. 190 calories. So you guys know how I always say I'm triggered by the box. This tastes like a chocolate glazed donut. I could not believe it. It really, really does. There's something about the icing taste or so I don't know, but it does taste like a chocolate glazed donut to me. So all three of these will be rebuy, but in order, this is my number one, this is my number two, and the birthday cake is my number three. So yes, on this, all right. We got to get out of here and get to the grocery store.
All right, we made it safely into the Publix. I can hear the thunder kind of crashing overhead here in the grocery store, so we made it just in time. Now, up front, they had the Miracle Whip light on sale, so I grabbed one of those. I can always use that for chicken salad and any number of other things I use it for. I got some bananas because, you know, banana and ice cream all the time. I needed some produce, so I got some carrots. I got some zucchini to grill up this week. And I also got some celery. I'm going to get some cream cheese, too, because that sounded good this week. Sweet chili garlic made by Boar's Head. Two points per serving. It's my absolute favorite. And then these Stacy pita chips, they were two for four dollars. So I got the toasted cheddar and the cinnamon sugar. Oh, Kevin just dropped a couple things in. So let's see here. He got some Boar's Head White American Cheese. And he also got some deluxe ham, low sodium deluxe ham. I will eat that, but I don't eat the Boar's Head cheese. A little bit too high in points for me. Oh, they have the Harvest Snaps red lentil, like little french fries. I love the red lentil tomato basil, 130 calories per serving. It's three points for one serving of 24. Okay, over to the meat section. Now, the only thing I need is the turkey tenderloin. And look at that. It is on sale. That's a great price. So I'm going to grab the applewood smoke and also the plain, the plain one I flavor. The applewood is fine the way that it is, but you do take a couple points with the applewood smoked. Now, it looks like they don't have my spicy jack laughing cow, but I do need this turkey pepperoni for a recipe that I'm going to do this week. And I'm totally out of the unsweetened applesauce. I always have to have that on hand for a side dish or recipes. Okay, I'm going to pull over here and do a cart update. So I picked up some Ortega hot sauce. I also picked up, you see there's some light Kiko Min and also a couple cans of beets, which I absolutely love. Plain beets, they don't taste like dirt to me at all. Oh, I need to grab some of this gravy. So this is a section that I absolutely love. You can spice up your protein so easily with those little spicy envelopes. You got to be a little careful with the sodium though. I grabbed a roasted turkey gravy. They did not have the fat free. I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but they didn't have that. And then I'm also going to grab a French onion soup box mix, and I'm going to toss my foil packed chicken in there this week. Doesn't that sound good? I also want to grab some pancake mix. I really enjoyed those scones that I did last week, so I'm going to play around a little bit with some recipes. Now, I was super bummed out. They did not have my white chocolate sugar-free jello mix. It's so hard to find. I'm completely out of it now, and it's really, it's difficult to find. I can substitute for vanilla, but I just really like the white chocolate, but no luck today. So now we're rounding the corner to the dairy section. I need some reduced fat Philadelphia cream cheese. I think I'm pretty good on cottage cheese. Oh, wait, they do have the 2%, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. I really like that cottage cheese with the fruit on the bottom, and I need some light sour cream. I need to grab some Zevia. I always have to have that on hand. I need the root beer and the grape. Oh, there's that kombucha stuff. Do you guys like that? I do not care for that. We're almost done here. I need some bread. Oh, Kevin got the 45 calorie... Oh, he thinks he's funny. He got the 45 calorie bread. I needed some non-fat Greek yogurt. I always have to have that on hand. 
And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab the artisano bread. That's the one that I'd use for French toast because it is so thick. You do take three points per slice, but honestly, it's worth it. Can't do it every day, but I can still work it in. That's Kevin's favorite, those chickpeas. Rounding the turn to the freezer section, I need a big giant thing of the Cool Whip light. I go through so much Cool Whip. I'd like to keep it frozen and just pop a little bit over some yogurt in the evening. I just really love it. Now I cannot find my cauliflower fries. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. This week they don't, which is a complete bummer because I was really craving that, but we'll just have to deal with it. I don't want to forget to grab my eggs. I always get an 18 pack of Eggland's Best Eggs. See, now look at that. There's a cracked egg in there. It's almost every time. That's why I always try to remember to open it and look first. There we go. That one's good. And oh my gosh, yes ma'am. I have been hearing about this marshmallow dip. Zero points. You guys, is it a big jar of gooey chemicals? Maybe. But I am buying it because I love marshmallow fluff. Kevin needs some of the enlightened ice cream. That really helps him. You know, he's dealing with blood sugar issues, you guys. So these things are important substitutes. I tend to do the banana and ice cream, but the Enlighten is really, really good. Kevin also really loves those Weight Watchers fudge bars. You can see he's happy about it. Sometimes we can't find those either, but those really help him a lot with the sugar cravings. And I just feel like, you know, it's hard enough. So you have to have things that work as good substitutes for your sweet tooth. So it looks like someone snuck some chips in the cart at the last second, but guess what? We're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please let me know and we'll do another grocery haul at the store.